916 right now. Let's dive into your first alert forecast. I want to take you on a little road trip up to Sedona. How pretty is that right now? Nothing but sunshine up near the Red Rocks. 45 degrees currently. It was a cooler start across most of Arizona to the day and here in the valley. We're in the 50s right now. Maybe you're going to head out for a hike. We've waited a long time for hiking weather to finally arrive. 67 is where we'll be by lunchtime and then 75 by this afternoon. A fairly cool day ahead considering normally we're in the low 80s this time of year in the Valley Metro area. Pollen counts are fairly good, especially when it comes to weeds and grasses. If you're allergic to trees, though, we're starting to see that go up just a little bit. It's in the moderate category, especially when it comes to elm and pine. The most weeds we're seeing ragweed right now, but again, that's still in the low category. Wind should be fairly light today across the state. Let's go forward in time. A little bit of breeziness, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds in the high country today. I want to take this forecast, though, into tomorrow because we are going to see the strong winds arrive first in western Arizona. This is by 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Some 25 to 30 mile per hour sustained winds. Those will be out of the north pushing toward the south down that Colorado River Valley, and we'll have a wind advisory in effect by this time. In the valley, we don't have that. Our winds should stay fairly light. They will pick up a bit tomorrow afternoon as they will statewide for a breezy Wednesday ahead. Downright windy if you're in the western portion of our state. So let's talk about where these winds are coming from. That wind advisory will be in effect either tonight or tomorrow morning, depending on where you are uh, in the Colorado River Valley, but it lasts all the way through tomorrow evening. The winds are being driven by this low a storm system dropping south toward Arizona. Will this bring us the thunder, the lightning, the rain that we saw last week? And it's not likely for the valley. It will bring another round of snow, though, to parts of the high country. So our latest model runs are showing us that as we first head through today, your election day is looking pretty quiet. But by tonight, a few showers in the form of snow in the Four Corners region, dropping down toward the rim during the day tomorrow. And then on the back side of this low Wednesday afternoon, even into Thursday morning, a few leftover scattered rain and snow showers, never really impacting us here in the valley, but we'll get a nice drop in temperatures 75 today. We go down to the 60s by Thursday. Mornings are going to get cooler as well down into the 40s, even upper 30s in outlying areas. Afternoon highs come back up to the 70s and by the weekend we're talking 75 for your Saturday and your Sunday looking even better. How about a high of 80 degrees? That